I want to talk about culture a little bit. I mean, obviously, we're in Hollywood. We're in Los Angeles. This area feeds so much of the culture of this country. We know the political leanings of this area. You are the quintessential counterculture. There, there's not many of you here. What is it like to be that kind of a figure, to be a conservative figure amidst all of this? You know, the funny thing is, there are lots of people who are conservative in Hollywood. Yeah. They just don't get any recognition. Yeah. They don't get talked to, and they certainly don't speak up for fear of being canceled. And I understand that, especially for the younger actors yeah. um, who quietly come to me all the time and go, hey, man, um, I love what you have to say, and I agree with you 100%. I just can't say anything because I want to work. Yeah. I say I understand that completely, but for me, I'm you know I'm of a certain age. Yeah. My kid is 22 now. I'm, you know I, I have traveled the world. I've seen so much that I feel remiss to not yeah. speak my mind. And there's the thing about it here is like like uh, let's just say um, what's his name uh, a meathead. Yeah. Um, <laughs> just uh, so so I think he's a great a yeah. great director, and I would work with him in a heartbeat. Yeah. Unfortunately, there's people um, who won't do that in Hollywood these days. If they disagree with your political leanings, they don't want you to work, and that's, that's, that's I think it's horrible. It's so funny that they can't see what they're doing. You know, as, as they, they scream fascism all the time, and they don't understand. I mean, you're silencing that every is fascism. Op opposing voice. When you, you, are, yeah. when you silence opposite yeah. voices, you're, yeah, that is fascism. That's, you yeah. know, it's diversity, equity, inclusion. I say yeah. diverse, diversity, inclusion, equity. Right. Die. Yeah. That's better for me that's right. uh, because that's what it does. It doesn't make any sense. Uh, I'm brilliant. all for equality yeah. of, of opportunity, but not equality of outcome. Equity is a weird term, but it doesn't it, it doesn't mean anything. I want to talk a little bit more about the hypocrisy of Hollywood because there's one thing that we don't talk a lot about, and it's I have friends here that try to get into the acting game, been trying for a long time, and have moved on to regular careers. And they didn't make it. The one thing that they talk about is that how there's so much hypocrisy in the way Hollywood works because. There's very few people at the top that make all the money. Oh, yeah. And when you look at the way these films are paid out, if you actually got a, a list of how everybody was paid, you'd see it all stacked at the top, and then everybody else is just starving. Yeah, and, I mean, this, this this city's full of starving actors that have to Half work three jobs, and they're, they're, they're out here dressed up like <laughs> characters that you've played before true. trying to make a buck. It's like they, they, they pretend that they're, they're so liberal, yet they operate and they function under a union that doesn't, there's no equity in pay there at all, not and even, they and they all close. and they, nobody says a word because they all want to get their money. Of course they do. But everyone yeah. wants to be Tom Cruise. Yeah. Everyone wants to get to that pinnacle where you know you're the very top of the triangle there. That they, they make if you flip another triangle on top of that, all that is for the little little tiny piece up top. Yeah. There are more out of work actors. They're probably all over. Like I said, all over here, um, trying to make a living. People, you know, screenwriters. Everybody's trying to make a living, but the, it's true. There's only a very select number at the top, and they make all the money, and they're not. Yeah. They're not giving it away. Yeah. You know, you can pay more in taxes if you want to. Yeah. Uh, as it is for me, I, I, I pay 50%. Like a little over 50% of right. my income goes. I try to give my son, I make him food, you know, in the morning. Well, not anymore because he's in college. But yeah. I go, ah, tax, tax, <laughs> something. And he was like, he's like, what are you doing? What is this? And I go, yeah. if I make a dollar, how much do you think I get to keep? He's like, a dollar. I go, no, man. No. I get 50% I get or less. And he was like, I hate taxes. And I said, good boy. Yeah. <laughs> we, we saw it. You said Tom Cruise. We saw this year, Top Gun 2 come out. Great. And just, it just shredded every other movie that came out. I mean, people flooded the theaters to go see it. It was like the old days, like yeah. before COVID, when a big Hollywood blockbuster came out. It didn't have the woke narrative. I, I watched that film three times now. You can't find a shred of that narrative anywhere near that film, which you know. They sat there and meticulously said, we're not going to let any of this in. And when you don't do that, people love it. When you look at Netflix, these other, you know, these other houses that are trying to make these movies with this agenda, are they learning a lesson? It seems like they are learning a lesson. The way Netflix kind of let Dave Chappelle back in, you know, do you think they're figuring this out? I think it's a pendulum. Ways? I do. I yeah. think it's a pendulum. I think yeah. that that it, it goes too far in one direction, and then it always sort of course corrects. You know, Dave Chappelle is uncancelable. Yeah. So, as a guy like Dave can say anything he wants to, and he's enough talent, enough money, he's got that. You know, he's got that fu money. He yeah. can say whatever he wants to, and that's what it is. Yeah. If you have that, then you can make those statements. But other people, a young comic coming out, couldn't do it. And that's what I tell a lot of young actors. I'm like, yeah. you know what? Just keep your mouth shut uh, until you've achieved a level of, of, of notoriety or, or, or fame where you can demand uh, still to get to pay. You have a big TVQ and 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 say these things and not get canceled. Is there is there an opening there? Do you see something that I mean I, I could see you being a part of something like that where you you know open up a production house that just goes the other way, you know, yeah, well, counterculture that I've says, been, well, you know, they say that that yeah. politics are downstream from culture. Right. Andrew Breitbart said that. It was a buddy of mine. I agree with that, but it's you know, the culture Hollywood is controlled by 
certainly people on the, on the far left. There are a lot of people who disagree with that, I being one of them. So I, I directed my first film this year called Little Angels. Uh, we're out to distributors now. Yeah. It'll come out in 2023. I'm very excited about that. I love making films. I'd like to be able to make more. And they don't have political leanings. They just teach or t t that you tell a story and you teach a lesson. Or you have, I like, I like Frank Capra movies back in the day. Yeah. They're my favorite. It's a wonderful life. Things like that. Um, Top Gun being very pro-American, very pro-American values. Love that, 100%. Yeah. And yeah. If, that, if, if the audience goes to see that, Hollywood will pivot. What's it like living here? How has it changed over the last 10 years? I lived here 10 years ago. I certainly noticed it's a lot dirtier. It's, uh, it's a lot less safe. There's a lot more crime. And yeah. it really has kicked in the last couple of years. You know, uh, we have a, a DA here, George Gascon, who is a nightmare. Yeah. Um, um, I happen to support Sheriff Alex Villanueva, who's up for re-election this year. Um, he is fighting back. But, you know, they, they want to have the city council have a, a, a vote where they can toss out the duly elected sheriff so the city council could just go hey you're gone no that's that's don't vote for that yeah. uh, i'm not yeah <laughs> but i mean it's, it's crazy stuff like that uh well, I then, think and then they tell us that they love democracy and they're trying to protect democracy and then they pull that that's not democracy yeah, yeah. that is you know six elected officials making that decision right. for you when when the when the people have voted somebody in it's wrong yeah. it shouldn't happen i think the pendulum's going to swing back because people can't tolerate it my mom was was reading today about you know houses in my neighborhood that had just gotten burgled, you know, people yep. had gone through and broke, broke a window and gone in, and um, two in my neighborhood. My neighborhood's pretty, pretty nice. Pretty nice. Um, and my mother wonders why, I, what, you know, why I joined the police force. And I'm like, that's why, Ma, that's, that's why. why. Because crime is out of control and it needs, to, it needs to course correct. And I think it will. I think after November, things, yeah. things, <laughs> things will settle down a little bit. I, I sure hope so.